Hi guys and welcome back to another week of what's for dinner. My name is Crystal and before we get started, if you guys enjoy this video, if you guys can give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate that. As well as share this video with someone you know that would like some new meal ideas or simply share this video on your social media by clicking the share button. And also too, if you guys are enjoying these what's for dinners and would like to see more, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Okay, so now let's get started with this week's What's for Dinner. So for today's dinner, I'm going to start by cooking some ground beef to make some chili in my crock pot. I usually use cooking spray but I only have one can left so I'm using butter and other fats that I have as well as oil. I've been saving my bacon grease recently because usually I just toss that out um, but it's just a great way to use up um, that bacon grease without wasting it and I just use very little bit to cook up my ground beef. So now I'm going to be using one pound of ground beef. Uh, this time I did make my chili a little bit different. I will link down in the description as well as in the iCard an easy crock pot chili that I like to make and um, I will show you guys the difference of what I add but pretty much I did season my ground beef like I usually do. Um, I used one pound of ground beef that I had in my freezer like I said and then I like to add some crushed garlic by using my garlic press as well as um, my favorite seasonings. I use the Lori season salt as you guys will see and some black pepper. Okay, so now that my ground beef is fully cooked, this is where I did a little bit different. I had some caramelized um, shallots that I had in my fridge that I wanted to use up. And I just added very little bit just to stretch out the ground beef. It turned out it gave it really, really good flavor. So this was the first little difference that I did. I really liked it. Um, next time I'll probably do onions if I have that on hand. But it just gave the chili a really, really good flavor. So now I'm adding the ground beef and the caramelized shallots to my crock pot. The second difference that I did um, with this chili is that I usually add 16 ounces of cooked pinto beans. This time I used double the amount because I, that's what I had left over in my fridge and I wanted to use these up before they went bad. And then I usually do add the can of diced tomatoes. But also along with that, I added a can of tomato sauce and I feel like that gave it an extra amount of flavor. It was really good so I think I will definitely do that again. I know during this time um, we're using what we got and working with what we have and I really wanted to make a big amount of chili without having to use too many ingredients so I just love that I added that tomato sauce. I didn't have any bell pepper but I had this seasoning blend in my freezer. Um, I bought it at Walmart a couple of months ago, so I wanted to use it up. It has bell pepper, celery, onions, and some spices in it. No salt, just spices, and it actually gave it a really good flavor as well. And then I had one of the McCormick chili packet that I usually add to my chili. I gave this all a really good mix, and I let it cook on high for five minutes, and it was really, really good. So I like that during this time we can test out new things and try new recipes. Not all of them are going to be great, but this one turned out to be a winner. And then if you notice my lighting, 
I got some really good help from my husband. You could check out my blooper video. You'll see what I'm talking about. So now in my mixer, I am making some honey cornbread. This is the box kind from Costco. It's the Krusty's brand. This is actually one of my favorite recipes to use. It is so easy. I just follow the directions behind the box, dump everything in my kitchen aid, and let it mix on its own. It's one of my favorite. I am making a double batch because I am sending some over to my sister-in-law and also to my in-laws because they really like cornbread. Um, and then I'm just adding the eggs. If you notice, I'm showing you guys, I'm cleaning out the shells. Um, we make cascarones uh, for Easter and even though with whatever is going on, um, I know that when things get better, we'll get back to our, you know, day-to-day -day things. And even though Easter will probably already pass, when the time comes, we'll be able to do that. And if you guys want to see last year's video, I'll link it up in the iCard what I'm talking about, cascarones. Uh, last year and this year, I actually wanted to make a video on showing you guys how to make them. And they're just uh, cleaned out eggshells. You put uh, confetti in there it's for fun. We'll put some with flour and we hide them and children and adults, we all get together and uh, we crack them on our head and it's so much fun. I did a video last year showing that. We've been doing it actually for so many years, but this is one of the first times that I was able to film it and make a video out of it. So it's so much fun and it's really funny. I'll link it up in the iCard and in the description. So I have one of these foils that I got a big pack during the holidays at Costco and then I did put a little bit of the cooking spray. That's what I'm saving my cooking spray for, for when I really need it uh, for baking and things like that. We've been baking and cooking a lot. And then I just added the mixture on top. Like I said, this is a double batch because I wanted to make enough to share um, some with my in-laws and also with my sister-in-law and her family so that they can have some honey cornbread. And then, like I said, I follow the directions. I put it in the oven. I believe it went in for about 30 to 40 minutes and it's very simple and easy to do. This is the second time that I make it. And if you're wondering, yes, I am in my pajamas. <laughs> And this is what the honey cornbread and muffin mix looks like. It's really good and I really recommend it um, if you get a chance when things calm down to go to the store to pick up a box. So I put toppings on the side for everybody to add what they wanted. I put some jalapenos. I also put some salsa that I made. And then as well as I have some um, plain non-fat Greek yogurt or just regular yogurt, I'm sorry, that I use as sour cream. And then I have some sour cream that a neighbor gave to me. As well as I had some leftover cilantro and onion that I wanted to use up. That was the first time I added cilantro and onion to my chili and it is really good. I mean cilantro, I've added onion before. And then I added a little bit of Kobe Jack cheese. And this was so, so good. I had it with a side of cornbread that you will see. And then, I don't know about you guys, but I always like to add just a little bit of butter to my cornbread. And this meal was so, so good. The leftovers were even better because everything just came together even more. And it was just so flavorful. It was raining on this day, so it was like nice and cozy to stay indoors. This is the cornbread that I'm talking about. Like I said, I made a double batch. 
and oh my goodness just seeing this all over again i just want to eat it i can eat the cornbread all on its own i don't even need the chili but it is so so good So this was our dinner for this day. When the river is calling, said I love Hi guys, so for today's dinner, I made some homemade french fries. If you guys want to um, see how I make these, all I do is peel potatoes and I cut them up to the size that we want french fries. And I did deep fry them. I will put a link to a video of both how I make baked french fries as well as um, these deep fries. So if you guys want to check that video out. This is our leftover chili. Um, I think we've made a pretty good dent in it. We had some and then I did give some to my sister-in-law. Uh, so we're just uh, using the leftover chili and definitely you can have chili on its own. I've showed in videos that we make chili cheese dogs, we make nachos, and today we're having chili cheese fries. And this is what we're going to have for dinner today. Easy and delicious. Great way to pair leftovers and to get them used up, have them a different way. Hi guys, so for today's dinner, we're making some tortilla chips. Can you add more in here, please? Thank you. My husband cut up some corn tortillas. And we're just frying them up in oil until they're nice and golden. And then we're gonna drain them and add some salt to them. What are we making for dinner, baby? Carne asada chips. Carne asada chips. So pretty much we're gonna add chips. We're gonna cook up some carne asada. He cut it up into strips or like cubed it up. And then we're gonna add um, some toppings, some salsa, some carne cheese. Asada right here. Carne asada right there. This is already marinated. We bought it like that. We had it in our freezer. We defrosted it. But if you guys need a recipe on how to marinate uh, carne asada, I have a video showing you an easy two ingredient um, and how I make that marinade. It's two ingredients. If you have more and you want to add more, I like to add more. So if you're out of chips like us but have a lot of tortillas, great way to use up these corn tortillas. You can also freeze them too, the corn tortillas. I'm gonna probably need a little bit more oil. <laughs> yeah. So this is the carne asada. My husband cut it up and we are cooking that up. We're frying our tortilla chips right now. But we're making them. They're corn tortillas frying them up. Yummy, yummy. I'm gonna show you what it looks like all plated up. So far, we can't get our, can't stop eating these. They're so good. It's ready to eat. Yummy. You can definitely add guacamole and sour cream if you like. This is my husband's plate. Hi guys. So for today's dinner, we're actually having leftovers. I didn't record this, but this is what we're going to have for leftovers. Uh, we have some tuna, and this tuna is just one can of tuna. 
Um, I added half a can of corn, a whole tomato, onion, bit of mayo, salt and pepper, and um, this is what we're having. We're having it with toast, also with uh, lettuce and um, some crackers. Oh, it also has a chile serrano, and then I had leftover cilantro, so I just threw it in there. Um, and then we're also going to have some leftover sopa fideo, and that's going to be our dinner for today. And the girls are snacking on some cucumbers. This is the last of the cucumbers that we have, and they're playing with flashcards. So yeah, this is what we're going to have for dinner today. Hi guys, so for today's dinner we decided to do something super simple. I made a quick salad and then my husband ordered Pizza Hut for the girls. Mm. Yeah. Um, I'll show it plated up, but right here, what did you get George? Uh, you got some buffalo wings. And some sausage. Que papas. Que papas, some sauces. I'll show it up plated up right now. But we got a couple of pizzas because we're going to mm, take some man. to my in-laws. Uh, we got pepperoni. We got a lot going on. Give mama and daddy a nice break. Yeah, I'll show you guys um, a little bit right now. Hold on. So right here we got pepperoni and bacon. And what else? Pineapple. And ham. And ham. The first one looked like it was just um, pepperoni. Yeah, that's for you guys, right? Yeah. And then we got, uh, we got, what is this? Jalapeno. Bacon and ham. Yeah. And then we got. Um. Ooh, this is mine and hubby's and whoever else wants this one. Uh, bacon, pineapple, and chicken. I think there was a special on three do three toppings, right? Three toppings. Yeah. So my girls can easily eat one box by themselves if we let them. Um. But the reason we got extras because we're gonna share some with my in-laws so that they don't have to cook over there. And then we gotta have a salad with pizza. And I'll show you guys um, my plate and my hubby's plate right now. So these are the que papas. They're potatoes that have jalapeno cheese. Inside of them, they're like a hush brown. They're so, so good if you have not tried them from Pizza Hut. We also have some marinara sauce because we like things saucy. Um, and then we ordered about 12 buffalo wings. We've never ordered this many wings. And let alone, there was so much leftover pizza and leftover wings. And we split it up between two families, but we had enough for lunch. So that was um, the buffalo wings. They're so, so good to have with the pizza. My mother-in-law sent over a cucumber, so I sliced that up and we had that on our salad because my girls love cucumbers. And then I'm gonna show you guys the salad topper. We still have it, it's from Costco, and it's so good. We could snack on it on its own or add it on top of our salads. This is my plate. You know, you're not a parent if you don't use kids' plate. Um, I had a pizza, I had the buffalo wing, I had my salad and the que papa. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's What's For Dinner. If you did, if you can give it a thumbs up, I would appreciate that. As well as feel free to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. Remember, you guys can always share this video. That really helps my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. You look so beautiful. And I'm so lucky to be yours.